are metal and masonry of various types and hardnesses and thicknesses. So again, you're shooting these either into concrete or structural steel like I-beams. Again, you're not using this for light framing. The majority of base materials found on the job site are suitable for powder actuated fastening. However, it's very important that the certified operator should determine the suitability of any material into which they intend to drive a fastener. So a center punch test is a very simple, quick test, which can be made to determine your base material suitability. So what you're gonna do with the average, with the fastener you're going to use into the base material you're gonna shoot into, average hammer blow, give it a whack, okay? If the nail sinks easily into your base material, your base material is too soft to not make a test firing. If the, uh, the tip of the nail is blunted and there is no uh, surface marks, then the material is probably too hard. Do not make a fastener, right? So if it goes in just a little bit with a little bit of blunting on the tip, it's probably okay to make a, a test firing, which we'll talk a little more of here. What happens when the material is too hard and you do a test firing? It can shatter, right? The nail can shatter or preflate. Uh, welds, uh, it's gonna talk about stuff that's, that's just too 